This conference will now be recorded. Hi, hello all. Welcome to the next session on SAP ABAPA and HANA. In the last class, we have discussed about what exactly the uh, OData, right? So what exactly the OData? What exactly the OData? It is an open data protocol. It is the framework which is built based on RESTful programming model. It is uses the HTTP protocol and performs the crude operations or methods. And what exactly the functionality of the OData? What we can do with the OData? Okay, so just exposing the data over the internet or intranet so this is a function of any vodata guys okay with the vodata we can expose the data over the internet or intranet okay what exactly the internet and what exactly the intranet yeah sharing over the world right www but intranet means within the local so let's take an example of this is my local network right internally we will be having a uh, network that we call it's an intranet so we can expose the data over the internet or intranet that's exactly in a data guys okay the functionality of the data is exposing the over the internet or intranet that we call it's an word data so so this is my data and we are going to expose the data what data implemented based on the restful programming model and rest means restful means it's in a representational state transfer okay that's an a uh, word data guys and so normally the word data we have a different kind of uh, architecture one is the uh, different kind of deployments so we can install the sap gateways foundation on top of your application layer that we call it's an a embedded um, uh, deployment or embedded scenario and if you see what is the uh, thing if you see it's an embedded if you see sap underscore gw fnd on top of your application layer that means system status and go to the product version if you see this component sap underscore gw fnd it's an embedded scenario okay if it is not there if it is in a different server altogether like here I have an a one server for SAP ECC and also I have an a one server for gateway foundation. Okay, SAP gateway uh, system. Okay, they just I'm giving some example. It's not like that 168.1. Maybe 16 and instance number is uh, 0 02 and system ID is gateway server GTD. Okay, development server and finish and see this is my ECC server. This is my gateway server. It's not just dummy I have created. So if you see those two servers in differently, then we call it's an a central hub scenario, guys. But we do not have that scenario. We have the gateway foundation, which is built up on your SAP server itself. That's an, that's we call it's an a SAP embedded server. And if you go to the system status, you will see in all your systems, guys. But so what exactly where you will build the OData services? The transaction code is SEGW, guys. Very very important direct interview question so what is the transaction code because guys whenever it is in a new technology the questions will be the basics whenever it is in a old technology the questions will be the deeper and the deeper guys so most of the times they ask this is a new technology in terms of s4 or sap and the most of the questions will be in a basic questions they are going to ask you can claim that you are expert in the old data services that's not a problem suppose if i ask you okay i will ask five questions what is your rating one out of five so maybe you can say four out of five or three out of five. if you are a little confident maybe you can say three and if you are good and strong you can say four out of five you can say in the interviews they, they may ask like questions like this okay idox what is the rating of uh, yours how you how confident you are in the idox by out of five, one out of five you can say okay if you are good okay four out of five okay if you are too strong you can say five out of five okay if you are okay then you can say three out of five guys maybe they some may ask uh, 10 if it is 10 you can give six and good if you are good you can say eight if you are too strong you can say 10 out of 10 but 
don't say 10 out of 10 because interviewer is not a fool they will be having more experience than you so don't say 10 out of 10 you can say 8 out of 10 like that okay so that's an uh, interview strategies and here you can see SEGW and which is in a gateway GW means SC you know SC 10 SC 38 like that GW means it's a gateway foundation it's a very easy to understand the transaction code and it's an SAP gateway foundation but if you want to build an a gateway so what exactly the word data so here the word data is exposing the data over the intranet or internet internet or intranet if it is an internet or internet definitely the your system should be capable of doing an http services so if you want to enable http services the transaction code is rz10 okay go to the rz10 and give the default and press f4 guys you will get an latest my needs sixth version maybe some people will have three some people will have four so take the highest version and and select extended maintenance and change and here you need to go to the create parameter and the server is icm slash uh, server underscore port underscore zero you need to give the zero okay and here the values are i forgot here i think prot which is equal to http right and comma port which is equal to the 8000 and you can give the remaining things i forgot but if you want to find out those parameters you can see in this blog okay you can see what exactly the those parameters the timings how, what is the maximum uh, time you can give it time out error you are going to get right that 60 seconds that kind of things which you need to give don't do anything don't do any buttons you need to do any copy so do the copy and it will ask for the save yes and come back and uh, come back and it will ask for the save and after this you need to activate your uh, rz10 and it will be activated guys so my uh, profile is activated after you do this and you need to go to the smicm okay it's an internet communication framework and go to the okay services go to services and here you can see http server but you see you here he is in a zero guys okay in your server you see as in a zero i have already activated it is coming in a 8000 and select this and service go to change and here you will get like this zero take out the zero we have configured 8000 port and the port you need to give the 60 seconds is the timeout maybe if you want to increase the uh, seconds you can increase also guys so you can increase to the five minutes five into 60 seconds and 300 seconds you can give it five minutes duration to time out to get in a timeout error and change this to the 500 seconds okay that's the uh, one thing which you need to do and also guys there is one more transaction yes trust okay go to the s trust and open you see here is in a red color okay select this change go with the change mode and sell right click and distribute okay do everything okay right click and distribute like this you need to do any distribute guys so maybe you can get in a distribute you see in a red color you need to make a, all of them okay some of the things will be red that's not a problem no don't worry see this is my red it's not giving me any distribute but still it's in a red color leave as it is it will work out guys so after you this and maybe now i go with the odata services my, you need to test it with the webdyne pro that will be one of your colleague will tell how to test the webdyne pro access and all so maybe that you can see later first we will build the word data services then we'll see and also guys in your systems by default word data services doesn't work and that also you need to do in a configuration okay one more to activate word data services we use this path activate this is to activate http services guys okay this is to activate http services but you need to activate the word data services okay how you can do that okay what happened so for this normally always the configurations where you will go guys spro perfect normally if any configurations we will do in the spro guys we talk about 
uh, 60 plus module 26 lovs and all right so everything you can see in the pro go to the sap reference image So it will display all the modules. It's a, see open text, which is an NDR company. And we have uh, enterprise structure like this, finance accounting, controlling, okay, invest management, inventory management. Okay, there are a lot of things, logistics and all. So always, so this an, you need to go to SAP NetViewer, guys. Our uh, system related things comes into the NW, right? SAP ABAP NW, NW is in a NetViewer. Yeah. And here you can see Gateway Foundation, gateway the steps you can write it okay because these things to be activated in each and every system. apart from SICF even this also should be enabled and gateway and O data channel and configurations and uh, user settings not required not required not required connection settings go to the connection settings and uh, see Activate or deactivate SAP NetViewer Gateway. See, double click and see, guys, you are seeing deactivate. That means it's already in activated mode. Let's take deactivate, okay, which is in a not active. Now execute and see activate. Maybe if in your system, if it is not activated, you will get an activate symbol and activate it. This is one step which you need to do it, guys. So, how to activate this? Maybe skipping tool. Okay, this is also important, guys. Screenshot how to take the screenshot. So, first I take here. Maybe you can do edit here also, but I always uh, go to the maybe you can see like this. Okay, and gateway, our data channel, uh, configuration, connection settings, and active. This is the highlights which you can do it and uh, see i cannot uh, uh, what is that here uh, what is that crop uh? Uh, uh, crop we cannot crop here uh, edit we can do the copy okay maybe i can go here i can put a screenshot here guys that's it you can refer this in your uh, whenever you would like to no, that's the screenshot to activate the odata services Okay, then I go to the, I always don't prefer this. I always go to the paint. There I am going to enable the colors. Okay, so go to the new slide. And here, this is the one step which we need to do. So I activated this. And maybe I look at the one more step, guys. Administration, general settings. Um, okay, some more things. So cache, cash buster you are going to see. Uh, login not login okay maybe not here one, one more enablement so uh, expand this gateway service enablement also which we need to go a backend o data channel user settings uh, logging settings backend publisher configurational settings no connection settings and see guys suppose if your system is an a central hub scenario okay let's take an example this is my central hub scenario we need to maintain a rfc destination guys if it is in a central hub scenario but if it is in an embedded scenario the rfc destination here is in a local we are going to take as in a local as in a service so the rfc because both systems are inbuilt in single system so i can say it's in a local rfc but if it is in a central hub scenario you need to create an rfc guys so maybe you can define the RFCs in SM59. So we'll talk this in the interfaces and the RFC and the create, okay, gateway GTD. Uh, maybe my server is, client is 800. GTD 800 is my RFC destination. Leave about this concept, that's not a problem. And we are not using that. Maybe some of the companies will use this and SAP NetViewer gateway settings. See, create RFC destinations for outbound queues and all. So let you your gateway setting destination system you need to maintain here guys so you need to maintain the destination let's take an example of my destination is gtd 800 sorry a gateway server client maybe 800 system alias i put which is an a gt guys. this kind of configuration we are going to 
do it for our scenario it's not required guys okay so that's it for the uh, thing and go to the uh, now so if you want to build SEGW, so go to the SEGW guys. So I'm going to build an, a one more data service for you. Maybe the word data service is okay. I have an external system. I need to get all the products from the SAP guys. Okay. See, let's take an example. I go to the Amazon. Let's take Amazon. and maybe here i am clicking something okay i need to look out tvs okay when i click on tvs it is giving me the different type of products product type material types right so we have in a different material types which we have these details are fetched from the database case okay and when i click on televisions it will fetch the televisions right so that products are coming over here guys so how this information is displaying on the screen see this is my internet we are exposing our data on top of the internet even we are putting in a images also okay we can put the images we can save the images also in the sap so what is this image and what is the uh, price of this product everything we store the data in the sap and the data is displayed in the screen ui screen guys okay let's take an amazon is having an sap so they do what they do is they will call whenever you click on this they call the word data service to the SAP. They will fetch the data from SAP case. But to fetch this data, how we will build an word data service? Okay, that's what we are going to build over here. The product information which we are going to build it. So create the product. So I am going to create a project. First, you need to create a project, guys. So G E D Z eight underscore product underscore details. This is my product, guys. So this is the service to get the product details. Get product details from SAP. Okay. And package G E D Z. What is the package which we are using? Eight or nine? Nine. Okay. And okay. I'm saving this in the package. So I have saved in the package, guys. And is it asking package, but it doesn't ask a transport. Yeah, it will ask whenever I save it. So whenever you create an AO data service in SAP SEGW, whenever you create an a project, so what are all the things which are available, guys? So first, how you create? First step is create project in SEGW. This is the first step, right? So whenever you create it, it the AO data service, there are different type of components, guys. One is it creates Whenever you create an AO data service, it creates data model. This you need to remember, guys. Huh? Data model and service implementation. Okay, this is a question. Okay, whenever you create what data service, what will be available? Runtime artifacts and service maintenance. So this is the components and it will create guys. Okay. In the data model guys. In data model. Okay. So I expand the data model and there are in data model. We have entity types and associations and entity sets guys. Maybe in data model. We have. Entity types and entity sets and associations okay do the by heart of these steps guys control s and we have an entity types so what exactly the entity type and what exactly the entity set what is association already we know the association same thing guys cds we have an association same concept also here that is an association is an object oriented concept actually okay we have an a um, different kind of associations which have that we are going to discuss in what data as well and what exactly the entity type okay the definitions maybe i can give in the next slide so the definitions of entity type and entity set okay entity type it is 
a blueprint of entity set or i can say it's a business entity guys it is in a blueprint of business entity okay what exactly the business entity can you can anybody give the example of entity business entity what is business entities which we have in sap uh, sectors uh, okay what is exactly those sectors okay here you talk about business okay sales order is a one business entity purchase order object guys simple entity is nothing but an object okay sales order is an object purchase order is an object material is an object and customer is an object so it is in a blueprint of that okay blueprint of an a business entity and it provides meta data of the business entity it provides some metadata guys okay let's take an example so simple you need to compare these two things with that two guys one is the uh, types and another one is the internal table Th what is types types is in a reference to the internal table or work area and types doesn't have in memory allocation here also same entity types have doesn't have any memory allocations and it provides in a reference the reference we call it's in a blueprint it's in a blueprint of in a business entity like okay what are all the fields which we required and what is the key field of that this kind of things we mentioned so that's in a metadata we call it it provides in a metadata of your business entity guys okay that's in a entity types and what exactly the entity set it is a business representational representational it's a not business it's a representation of business entity entity and entity sets are created with a reference to the entity types okay like internal tables also compare with the uh, uh, internal tables it it creates based on the it creates based on the entity types guys and we use entity sets to perform crude operations so we use the entity sets to do an crude operations case okay so if you want to do create method read method update method delete method we don't use the types we use an entity sets that's a name entity set guys maybe association i talk later this is an entity type and entity sets guys maybe let's create them then we'll see what exactly it is okay just if you talk theory you don't understand maybe we have any entity types we have any entity sets first we'll create the entity types guys if you want to create an entity type click on data model and create an entity type so right click everything here right click and create an entity type and my entity type is okay so entity type which is an a, a product p r o d u c t product means it's an a material product okay i'm giving simple and here whenever you create an a entity type see guys it is asking do you want to create an a entity sets okay so maybe i don't click on this checkbox later one more thing i will click on this first initially i create an a product entity type okay now you can see a product entity type has been created and this is my entity type guys expand this and whenever you expand this you will get any properties 
click on properties so here you need to provide like types how you can build the types okay sales order number type c like that we are going to build it right here also we do the same kind of things i am going to create the products okay what is the uh, product field m a t n r guys this is the best best practice which we need to follow so what is this uh, what is this font guys yeah you need to follow upper camel case whenever you do an o data service because o data we always deals with the json and javascript notation javascript follows the upper camel cases case so that's why we use field first letter is caps the remaining letter is small and suppose if you have material description let's take an example de d caps and sc so you need to follow this kind of na naming conventions case so it's an mat nr and entity type so we have different kind of entity types here not above types guys this is an a o data types so press click on here you can see okay if it is an a x string it's an idm binary it is an a true or false we use boolean if it is an a bytes we use bytes if it is an a time date and time we use date and time if it is an a packet decimal we use idm decimal and float we use idm float and like this and string for characters we use the string guys okay this is the different type of o data o data data types which we have and these are all the o data data types guys maybe a slide and insert o data data types so this is the o data data types which we are going to use it maybe my material number is in a character i will use an a string guys edm string which i am going to take it okay and also you can give the length maximum length of the material is can anybody tell what is the length of the material field uh, not 16 okay you are a little okay less so 18 is the characters case 18 maximum characters which we can give it maybe you are not clear maybe you can go to the sc11 you can see what exactly it is so sc11 and uh, what is the database table for the materials mara so this is all system guys okay no need to refer anywhere and you can see here itself and you can provide the length 18 characters length display see matnr the length of the material number is the 18 characters okay so this is the 18 characters and i am going to give the field above field also we can give it guys component type and field so the field above field name you can see it's an above field name so what is the above field name which you can give it is mat nr this you can give the caps okay suppose whenever you write the program if you give the caps mat nr automatically it will map to the this field guys that's the mapping of the above field okay then so this is my one field and now i need another field maybe i need an a material type industry sector that kind of information right so how you can uh, add suppose if you want to add append means always it will add in the next record and insert means it will insert over here do you insert or do you append if you want to have next record do you insert insert means what it will happen this yeah it will insert new record here this record will goes down that's an internal table here also the same concept now i want an a new record i need to append it okay m a t n r m t a r t which is an a material type and which is an a string i am now i am just taking the basic thing guys in this class and the material type is the maximum length is 4 and the material type the above field is an a m t a r t and do the append one more field an industry sector m b r s h and which is an a edm uh, string edm string and the this is value of 1 and so the field is m b r s h okay maybe i play with these three fields now as an a basic example then later we'll see other things case okay simple uh, one reference i have taken with a simple like in in when abap we used sales order product and amount the same way we handle with this basic fields and save it and now it is asking for the transport request maybe it's an a transport for o data batch 8 Nine. Okay, so this is the oh, transport uh, for that's not a problem. And batch item nine and save it and okay. 
so we have created an entity type with the fields of MAT types we have created a types now that's it just to compare we created a types okay save it now I need to create an entity set and click on the entity set and right click and create so create the entity set so entity set is a product and I use in a set guys this is the naming convention which we follow product is an entity type and set is in a my entity set see here also I followed what case I followed in a upper camel case case so you need to bind okay this is my entity set what is the entity type okay in I tab type table of ty underscore Mara so here also it will do automatically in the same fashion see I have assigned a entity type so this is the entity type which I have created I am assigning this entity type to the entity set guys okay okay now my entity set is also created guys simple odata service nothing to do much okay so after you created the entity type and entity set so we created the steps we created maybe this thing will be okay cut okay entity type entity set and paste so the next thing is okay create entity type and entity set entity set okay maybe if it is in a more i can say it's an entity types and entity sets yes. then you have to generate generate o data service okay you have to generate an O data service case. So here you click on the O data service. See, I generated the. If you want to generate this in a symbol, and select your project guys always. So this is my project. Okay, select the project and generate it. So generate. it takes some time so whenever you generate guys see i got some error guys so can anybody tell what exactly the error so entity type product must define at least one key guys so always the note whenever you create an entity type okay important we must assign the key what is the key of your business entity sales order sales order number is the key purchase order purchase order number is the key and material product the material number is the key and go to the product and attribute properties and material number as in a key field guys so that's the thing which you need to do it and enter and again select the product now you do the generate runtime object and see guys whenever you generate runtime object so it creates in a model provider class it creates in a data provider class it creates in a one model and it creates in a one service case it's an interview question whenever you generate in a wo data service okay what are all the objects what are the services it will be created it creates in a model provider class maybe sometimes i say eight some people will think it's four maybe you can say four only answer okay so here the four services are one model provider class one data provider class one model and uh, one other one is the technical service name this is very very important is service so whenever i call the product service from the amazon we call the service guys okay we call we don't call this class we don't call this class we don't call anything so the external system the ui system will calls the service name with the service name whenever the service name is called this classes will be triggered guys this classes will be executed so always always the service name is very very important so what is our next concept is whenever you generate an a data service so generate wo data service okay when it generates it creates four services okay what is this four services one is model provider 
see object orientation model provider class where you have used the object orientation till now most of the people will fear to tell but you can don't fear already you have used the object orientation in the alv ida with cds you have used alv with normal object orientation you have used and uh, you guys where you is till now uh, object orientation you have used in the cds no not at right cds is not at used and now you can say you have used the object orientation in the o data services maybe yours difficult answer different answer you have used in many places till now these people have used in these places only okay model provider class and data provider class and one model uh, view and next one is the one service and this service used to integrate maybe they may ask which one you will use to integrate ui systems so which is used to integrate ui systems guys that's the o data service generation and maybe i would like to know what exactly the model provider class and what exactly the data provider class maybe we will generate first okay so i am going to generate guys see this is my uh, generated classes and all see class name how the class names are generated can anybody gives the example model provider class now you can see so gcl underscore what is this guys product uh, details maybe it takes deta okay because the class name uh, bigger it goes bigger if it takes more okay the length is not sufficient maybe some part of the project name it takes whatever it is sufficient then it is used mpc one mpc this is a base class i can say this is my extension class one base model, model provider class one base uh, one extension model provider class it is generated and one base dpc data provider class one extension data provider class it is uh, uh, generated and one service model name so un underscore model project service name underscore srv guys okay and okay and save this in the package gedg9 and save it and save it in the o data services so all questions from here only guys huh? every slide is important okay every slide is an interview question in the word data okay whatever i am writing here everything is an interview question guys in the word data side and no single student should tell i don't know what data services everybody you will be having the resume word data services with an a resume as well as an object and this time i am going to introduce fi as an a word data services first i am introducing only the product and then i will take you to the gl accounts reconciliation accounts and customer invoice customer payments credit memos this kind of process i am going to introduce that i am going to explain as a o data service for this time and also that objects you are going to see in your resume guys okay this is my o data see guys so your o data service has been created with a uh, services and also they are green means they are generated guys so when you go to the sc24 you see all these classes so you you didn't create any class See GCL underscore my project name. No need to. Okay, G E D Z eight underscore product. Okay, do the C. Oh, four classes. One MPC base class. One MPC extension class. One DPC DPC data provider class. MPC model provider class. And one D DPC base class. One DPC extension class. Total four classes it will generate. Okay. So what exactly this we talk. and what is model provider class and what is data provider class what is extensions that we are going to see now guys maybe so so maybe so i have a project maybe i can give like this okay and generate 
whenever I generate it creates okay it creates mm, okay one is model provider class okay the always the naming convention will be like this case gcl underscore your project maybe i can say project i don't give the name generic name whatever it is project project underscore mpc which i call it in a base mo mo base provider class sorry base model provider class and another one is control c control v and here it will give underscore ext which is an extension class extension class case so this is the model provider class which is going to control okay i don't write model view and all okay here it's in a dpc okay which is in a uh, data provider class and data provider class extension dpc and it's in a data provider class so there is in a difference case why we use base why we use extension not now maybe i will keep that uh, hold and so what exactly model provider class what exactly the data provider class simple guys all your declarations will be designed in the model provider class all your crude operations we will do in the data provider class simple uh, precise and concise if you compare with your program in the top of your program you define all your data declarative statements right so all the declarative things will be in the model provider class it provides all the data declarations it's in a model provider class it provides all the data declarations provide data declarations and data models i can say declarations and data models but actually the opera what word data what we are going to do with the word data we are going to expose the data over the internet or internet by using crude methods create read update delete operations so we use data provider class to perform crude operations so crude operations the crude methods we are going to crude methods case we do in a crude methods in the data provider class case okay that's the data pro what we can do with the data provider class and what we can do with the um, uh, model provider class case okay so here i go to the same i go to the class now and maybe from here also you can go to the class whenever you generate guys so this artifacts whatever the artifacts we have the four artifacts one is the model provider class and another one is the data provider class and uh, uh, model view and service which will be comes under the artifacts so runtime artifacts this expand runtime artifacts you see all the classes and dpc base class dpc extension class mpc base class mpc extension class and model and service this this we call it's an a runtime artifacts this comes under the runtime artifacts uh, 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 node i can say this is a node guys and if you want to go to the class from here also you can go it guys but navigation is difficult so if you want to have a simple navigation don't go from here guys if you want to go to you can go to the abap workbench and it goes to the se 24 see it goes to the se 24 something if you want to do again you need to come back so the navigation is difficult always i prefer to go like this okay i will open the class okay save and see i go to the first mpc guys what is there in the mpc so display in the mpc display se 24 you know the class where you can see this is a global class you can see in the se 24 guys and maybe how this class is created so here see lot of object orientation comes concept comes into the picture 
and I asked some questions in the class wise you need to tell okay what are the the practical questions I am going to ask I don't ask what is inheritance I don't ask what is public or private now I asked the some question in the object orientation side because this is also very very important so miss first I will go to properties case okay what is this class now is it base class is it base class perfect which is, which is in a subclass the parent class see this is inherited this class is inherited from this class case this is in a super class this is in a subclass so here this class functionality is inherited from the standard class case so this concept we call it's an inheritance concept okay so that is the one thing exactly i go here guys so the interview mode is changed i don't ask what is inheritance my question is i will put on a screen this is the interviews will happen in the kind of microsoft google sap labs they don't ask what is inheritance i show the object now you tell me what is this concept by seeing that okay there is in a super class yeah this is parent class this is child class so this class is inherited from this parent class this concept we call it's an inheritance this is the answer which you need to give it guys so the way of interview is practical way of interview this is and maybe i go to the attributes and guys there is an a green there is an a red what is green and what is red no that's the thing green means it's in a public attribute red means it's in a private attribute guys so real this kind of questions i faced it so that's why i'm asking i am providing this kind of things tips uh, okay tips okay this is an a public and red means it's in a private and yellow means it's in a protected guys okay this is the one of the question and methods and same way methods also same attributes and methods if it is green it's in a public if it is in a red it is in a uh, private and if it is in a yellow it is in a protected very good maybe i go to this class standard class okay i'm i'm not deviating the concept because word data is built up based on the object oriented you should know the object oriented so if i am the interview interviewer first i will ask object orientation then i will come to the o data if you are failing object orientation i don't consider you if you tell the o data concepts as well guys because it's in a theoretical answers so that's what so always the object orientation is the fonda for the o data you should be strong in the object orientation then only you can write the good code in the o data otherwise it's not at all possible okay i went to the one more class abs and which is in a class this is an abstract class abstract push modeler so maybe by seeing this description this is an abstract class okay what is the abstract class what is the abstract class what is the abstract class summarize the data okay so if you see one method at least one method which is an as an abstracted method then we call it an abstract class the second thing is so we cannot instantiate the ab, ab, abstract class very fundamental question in every interview you see this abstract class what is abstract class even they don't implement they will ask this question okay they don't know how to implement but they will ask this what is abstract class some people will ask internet questions this is a definite question if you see any class if you have one method at least which is an abstracted method then we call it an abstract class what is exactly the abstracted method so i have given you some uh, uh, example what exactly the abstraction so i have given very flight symbol i have given some example right okay what exactly there are two things we can implement okay so if it is in a common functionality i can have an a method which can be implemented in the abstract class level let's take an example of fly flying is same functionality for the cargo plane 
as well as the passenger plane if there is no different functionality i can implement the method here itself guys okay here itself i can implement so the implemented method comes as an a black color guys if you see any black color that means the this this is implemented here itself see the code is implemented here itself okay if you see any method which is blue method the implementation is not here okay the implementation is done in the subclasses okay what i will do i will take this uh, aeroplane and we have an a one more thing is a boarding boarding is an a method so the method is abstracted into the two subclasses okay the functionality of boarding of in a cargo plane is different the functionality of boarding of in a passenger plane is different so different behaviors different one method but different behaviors so that is abstract the functionality is abstracted into the two classes so abstract, abstract class is very very important so one method behaves differently in different one method behaves differently in different classes what is that functionality polymorphism you can achieve the polymorphism the only way is the abstract class guys without abstract class you cannot achieve the polymorphism see these are this is the concepts which are coming into the object orientation please look out my object oriented ppt for the detailed steps so just i have given some of the explanation about the object orientation these are the important things so apart from this we have uh, what is uh constructor what is static constructor what is instance constructor what is static attribute what is instance attribute and what is event and how do you handle the events in the alv reports these are all comes under the object orientation and now i go back and see display, uh, display. and here you can see definition okay you need to see the uh, definition and click on the definition and see guys i get a lot of functionality before mpc where i see it the where i have seen that here it's not going so methods okay define okay not to define guys uh, get define product okay click on the define product guys so product is our entity type right so click on the define product and you see guys there is a lot of object oriented code which we have seen see type ref2 this is the standard classes which we have so this is the class or interface for the entity type this is the uh, complex type and o data type there are a lot of things this is for the entity set and we have an a, a equal and model there is an object of model and which is uh called a method of create entity type the entity type see the code is generated we just defined scgw we defined okay what is the entity type but in the background in the model it gives it provides in your data declarations so automatically sap gives a code generated a code for you see the product is an entity type it is creating the entity this method will create an entity type guys so this is my model and this is the method to create an entity type guys and in the entity type we have a properties the properties are material and material type and industry sector you can see so what is the property name material and what is the above field name matnr and also the length also it should give my baby the, the length is added here see is it in a key yes it set this field as in a key and it sets the what is the type of this field it's an edm string okay whatever you defined in the scgw in the back end it is generated so all the declarations will be available in the model provider class guys the method you which you need to define so define product suppose if i have one more entity set so it will give you the one more entity set define maybe makt material description it gives define makt okay suppose i need data from marda uh, sorry mard okay so define mard like this it is going to give all the methods one entity type and one method it is going to give it guys okay this is the model provider class which is going to have all the your declarations as well as your data models case that's an a that's an a model provider class now i go back to the uh, dpc what exactly the dpc we'll see the dpc and we have a dpc uh, base class and you can see here and guys so there are lot of methods which are abstracted from the abstract class 
and if you see and and you can see there are methods case go last and here you can see i said there is an accrued dpc with a dpc we perform the crude operations see guys for every operation there is an a method see crude methods so create if you want to create the data we use an a create entity if you want to delete the data we use the pro see guys entity sets are see product set is an a entity type or entity set it's an entity set so we use entity set to perform the crude operations see this is my create operation this is my delete operation this is my get operation get means a read operation this is my update operations case so every operation we have in a every method so now we are going to talk about the get data first we use the get then we use the post then we use the delete case so one by one we are going to learn so how to get the data from this product set that we are going to see it if you want to implement okay code so maybe i am implementing the code in the dpc okay if you want to get the data i am going to implement so implement this and change the data maybe i am going to fetch the data from mara guys maybe select a star from mara not select star what is that select m a t n r right select m t a r t and here guys i am using an above fields and m b r s h okay from mara and into table so here guys always see method means interfacing parameter what is incoming what is outgoing so here you can see so my incoming is maybe i will just i am selecting something here so my outgoing is here et underscore entity set case et t means is it's in a table type or it's in a work area table type otherwise i don't know whether it is an internal table or work area how do you know it huh? i don't know by based on the naming convention i don't know whether it is an internal table or work area how do you say whether it is an internal table or work area okay I, let's leave about this i have an a plain class okay i would like to store my internal table data i am going to create an exporting parameter and how do you enable that parameter as an internal table what is the reference which we give table types you create an a table type okay you create an a table type and then, then you assign the table type to that exporting parameter it becomes an a it becomes an a internal table here also you can see this is the type of this case so double click this mpc will have data declarations see mpc class will have data declarations double click on this and s it goes tt product case tt means it's a table type ts means it's in a structure so table type assigned that becomes an a table type guys so this is the understanding which you need to do it so this is my table type yes i can easily send it to that table type from mara into table and my exporting parameter et underscore entity set now i store the data in the entity set guys that's it save and pretty printer and activate and activate the o data service so where i have written the data guys where i have written where i have implemented this code my code so it, this is my my custom code i have written my code this is implemented in which class dpc base class okay now i have implemented in this method get entity set so see this is my code guys this is my code okay i i keep this session here itself then i go back okay now after 10 days i have my maybe properties why it's not going yeah here i am going to add one more field guys maybe append and maybe in the material which is the attribute we can take it so material attribute uh, material so maybe uh, l o v r m guys okay l o v r m or else m a t k l material group okay this is the field which i would like to add
okay you must give guys otherwise it will give the error so what is the m a t okay okay m mm -hmm. <coughs> m okay. okay so now append again and m a t k l m a t k l and edm string which is an EDM string and uh, maximum length we can provide as MATKL is a nine characters. This is an a nine characters and above field is an a okay MATKL. Okay, now I have added my field save and I select the project and I am going to regenerate your OData service. I'm regenerating my OData services after doing some changes to my OData. See guys, the code is generated in the MPC DPC. Now I go back to my code. See, this is my code. Just come back, refresh, come back. Again, you come to the class and go to that method. Okay, method is get entity set. Double click and see guys what happened. What happened? The code which we have written that will be removed and replaced with the again the standard code guys. So that's why SAP has given four classes guys. One is the base class. One is the extension class. So always if you want to implement your own code you have to implement in the extension class, not in the base class case. Definitely this is an interview question and also which we have seen in the practically, right? So what exactly the extension class? Where do you implement? Okay, where we can implement the custom code, custom code in word data services the answer is in extension class and why we need to implement in the extension class okay if if we implement the code in base class suppose if any changes in service and if we regenerate generate the service it will replace the code code with newly generated code and the custom code will be removed from base class okay i am giving an interview kind of answers case okay definitely this is a question so you need to tell the answer in this way okay so we should write in the extension class and why maybe they ask immediately why so this is the reason if you implement the code in base class suppose if any changes in simple guys like your language only in service and if you regenerate the service it will replace the code with the newly generated code and custom code will be removed from the base class okay so this is the answer which you need to give it guys so that's the name so now where you implement the code so in the base class or in the uh, extension class so you implement the code in the extension i go to the extension class now and the extension is with the ext guys this is my ext okay so before going to this before going to implement this guys so first i will see what are all the requests we can perform on an o data service okay first after you meant after you create the o data service case o data is an http service okay 
So this service should be maintained in the SICF. In the SICF, we need to generate this. And if you want to do this, and if after you generate the OData service, the next step, what you need to do is, so you have to activate and maintain the services in the SICF, in the HTTP services. So if you want to do that, where is my steps? Okay, so yeah. Next, it creates this. My next step is in the as per the implementation part. Okay, maintain and activate OData service. Okay, the transaction code is okay slash I W F N D slash M A I N T. Okay, it's a big transaction, guys. Service. Okay. So this is the transaction which we need to use it. Okay, by heart this transaction. There is no other way to remember. So maki ki maki you need to by heart slash I W F N D slash main tender score service. So what normally I do see guys. I am not able to remember. I put as in a favorite transaction this. Okay, see how to do the favorite transactions also favorite and instant transaction. Let's take example of VA01. See create sales order favorites you can create it and this is my favorite i have created guys and also double click on this and see and you need to come here see is your service is available see what is your service guys i told very very important thing is for the external system if you want to integrate your wo data we use in a service not the data provider class not the model provider class not the project we use in a service case. Service is important. Is this service is available in your maintenance? See, JED. Maybe I go to the JED EDG 8. Okay, you can find with the uh, services JED EDG 8. Enter. Guys, no hit found. So there is no service. So if you don't find your service, you need to add a service. Okay. You need to add the service. And system alias, is it embedded scenario? Is it uh central hub scenario first question it's in an embedded scenario and if it is in an embedded scenario the rfc the system alias is local is in a system alias or rfc system alias is nothing but it's in a rfc case enter and it will give the list of o data services and now you can find your o data service here gedz8 enter see guys somewhere it is displayed see guys your O data service is found here. GEDZ8 product details underscore SRV and select that service and add selected service and it will ask to save your the data in the package and so what other agents this is in a security concept guys like take like it and if you want to save local object don't save in the local object very very important so you need to save in the transport case and okay and save this word data service in the package. So it will ask for the two times and three times, four times, and four times it is asking. Why? Because I think four services it is saving in the backend case. Now your word data service is word data service is maintained. See guys, what exactly the maintenance? So I told one concept SICF guys, which is an internet of services. SICF. You need to go to the SICF. See. SICF put in a service check after you do this what exactly system will do it makes an entry in the SICF SICF and enter the service hierarchy type hierarchy type is in a you need to enter the value as in a service okay and execute go to default host go to default underscore now i will check whether my odata service are working or not okay odata services and go to the sap and go to sap and go to opu guys there is an a opu opu for the odata services see there is an a opu odata for sap products Okay, OPU. Very, very important, guys. This is and expand the OPU. And you see, there is an a O data. There is an a O data. 
and next you see expand the word data and you need to go to the sap you need to go to the sap very very uh, interesting now now you see see guys so there are a lot of things which are started not with the z so this is a naming convention importance that means these are all the sap standard word data services and we have our custom word data service z is our custom i go to the z so now you can see product details srv guys see so exactly whenever you do this in the iwfnd underscore slash main underscore service a configuration will be made in this and right click on this now you can see already it is deactivated that means the this service is activated and if you want to test the service and test the service case now you can see the yellow and and yes guys it is asking for the user id and password so security it provides so you need to give your user id and password sap if it is not asking your o data services are not working or sicf services are not activated in your system http services are not activated in your system guys sap user and password is welcome 1 2 3 4 so maybe you have the question right so in the normally in my server which is not an internet based server how it is displaying the web right so the concept is it's an intranet it's not a internet o data is we can expose that data to the internet or intranet so this is an intranet so this host file which you need to maintain this entry should be maintained in your host file then without internet we can use any web applications and okay and it will give me any service document guys see so open so i will open this in the um, uh, google chrome not in the internet explorer that concept we see how to use this uh, in the uh, in the browser how we can get this and there are get request concept guys maybe now i go to the some of the request which we will do from the web guys so what are all those request so that request we are going to call over here so get request concept so what is get request how you can call your o data service from the ui or from the browser so that we are going to see little the website web side we are going and we are going to see the how we can call this o data service from the ui how you can perform your crude operations from the ui that we are going to see after 10 minutes of the break guys okay that's it for the day not day for now and we'll come back again after 10 minutes do you have any questions till now so it's an easy concept okay little internet of uh, internet concepts which we are going to apply like xml json javascript object notation and object orientation for the concept is easy only guys you can easily understand but the foundation is object oriented abap if you don't know object oriented abap it, you can understand this concept okay so that's it have a 10 minutes break and uh, we'll uh, gather together yes we can enhance yeah that's a good question yes we can enhance the standard o data services also it's possible so that that i will cover in this previous batch i didn't cover it so in this batch i am going to cover that as well how to enhance the standard o data services okay in sap always three things you need to remember okay if you get the requirement is it standard requirement yes i have standard o data services i have a standard little enhancement i need to take the enhanced o data service and no standard functionality no standard service you need to implement from the scratch any concept not only o data table or report or anything the concept are three standard enhanced and custom every object also same standard you should know three concepts in every concept how to develop from the scratch how to enhance the existing one how to utilize the standard one so this is the foundation and the hierarchy should be first standard next enhancement then from the scratch so this is the uh, this is the uh, thoughts you need to apply whenever you get any requirements that's it and we'll stop the recording This conference will now be recorded.
hello yeah so uh, just now we have created what exactly the odata service and so whenever you create an odata service how many services it will be created and where we can implement the odata services so we will implement the odata services in a cgw transaction like se38 here se gw gw is in a gateway and so you need to activate those services and we have any entity types and entity sets entity types are used for the reference purpose and entity sets are used for the crude operations and whenever you create an a odata service whenever you generate it and we need to maintain it so whenever you maintain it the the service will be activated in the sicf service okay so maybe so there are many ways to test the odata services guys okay so how many ways we can test the odata services okay there are different ways we can test the odata services okay one is using gateway client okay the transaction for the gateway client is slash i w f n d slash g w underscore c l i e n t this is one way we can test it the second way is web browser the browser means you can test from the google chrome guys we can test it and the third way is we can test it from the postman okay we'll see how many ways we can test it we first we will use the gateway client then later we will use the google chrome browser and internet explorer also we can test it and also we can test from the postman services okay so this is the postman client which we need to install from here also we can test the odata services case so as an above per developer point of view we are going to test the odata services from these three services and three areas we can test it test it and first maybe i will go to the gw client then we will test the odata services okay i go to the sap ecc okay maybe i will add into the favorite transaction insert transaction slash iwfnd slash gw underscore client so this is the transaction which we will use it so always whenever you see the first slash always you need to add it to the favorite okay directly if you put slash it works like in a different way guys okay it works like in a different way yeah so see guys this is my browser uh, sorry this is the way. from here you can test it it's in a testing of odata services from the gateway client and here you can see there is in a path sap opu odata sap see guys then si uh, cf service path and if you can see somewhere i have put that where is the path see so sap sap and opu opu and odata odata and sap and this is the service name actually so we don't use this so instead of this we use an a service what is our service case z e d z 8 or 9 8 underscore product underscore details underscore srv right so whenever you execute this service whenever you execute in a service a service document will be displayed guys okay first point service document it provides more data service details when we execute the odata service 
Okay. So since it is an SAP system, I use only this path, guys. Okay. Maybe I execute I get. You need to see here there are some methods, crude methods. Get means it's in a read operation. Post means it's in a create operation. And put means it's an a uh, yeah insert is post create insert is post put means it's a name uh, update and modify and delete we can do the delete even you can do the merge as well so i use the get operation and execute and you can see the service details over here It is failed here. So maybe I test from here. Go to GEDG8. Some problem is in. Okay. Here the system alias is not added, guys. See? Go data. If you can see here, the system alias, which is not added over here. Maybe I can add a system alias. Mm. Underscore product star sorry underscore details underscore SRV F four. Yes, there is an a service. And system alias is an a local. Do the F4 here, you will get an a local. See, this is an a local and enter and save. And I am adding this over here. So from here also we can add. So system alias, and you can see the local is available. And see, guys, execute from the gateway client. Gateway client is nothing but just now we have taken the transaction, right? So this is the gateway client transaction. If you you can from here also you can go it. And execute from the gateway client and see mm, some problem uh, maybe OPU O data SRV and execute some error is NEIO unknown minus two eight zero eight zero port it is going to the proxy eight zero eight zero proxy. Or else from browser, I will test it, guys. Maybe uh, here. But whenever you call this from the browser, we need to prepare an a URL, guys. Okay, whenever we call this from here, we prepare an a URL HTTP star star uh, sorry, hash hash. So normally this is the browser, right? So we provide an a host and we provide an a port. Okay then we are going to have first parameter which is an a param and which is equal to the value suppose if you have one more parameter we use and symbol param parameter this is in a second parameter and the, the value of the second parameter so normally this is the host uh, uh, the, the url preparation normally we follow it in our case In our case, HTTP dash dash. And what is the host? The host will be available here. Let's take an example call browser. Okay, and okay. And you can see, so take it out this. See, guys. So here, if you see, so here until this HTTP, and this is the host name myeccanamasters.com. And 800 is our post, right? Uh, sorry, port. So you can take this and prepare a URL here. And slash, then SICF path, guys. Port, oh, sorry, slash SICF path. What is the SICF path we have? 
So SICF path is go to here. See uh, default host host is done then SAP. Little trick here and SAP slash OPU slash mm, O data slash SAP slash huh? okay service name okay what is the service name maybe I can go here see SAP OPU O data and not this catalog service I don't want catalog service instead of catalog service here it will be in a okay guys the problem is whenever we do this the catalog service should be activated guys first that's the problem it is giving me so maybe i go to the catalog service standard service do you see any catalog see guys so there are two services for the catalog one is version 1 and another one is version 2 so this should be activated guys actually so maybe how you can activate this uh, add system okay so uh, control uh, y control y control c and add system alias okay control v star f4 okay the second one is version 2 activate the second one and maintain the local enter so this is a standard service which should be activated whenever you if you want to get an O data services yes i have activated this and save now maybe test your O data service uh, gedz8 enter post name why it's not coming here it should come as an a local actually Again, execute. Even it should not come. I should not get an a catalog service here. I should get this total this. Sir, yeah, now it comes local service and gateway client. Ah, now it's coming. I see. So now maybe from here I can test it. Okay, this is the one and execute okay it's not working okay call in browser see op sap opu o data sap and your service name now we got the service name guys so this is the url which we need to take it so this is the url you need to take control C and O data and SAP. After the SAP, you need to take this. This is for the service document. This is for the service document. Okay, this is the one URL which we are going to take it. Case maybe I will try to execute this URL from the browser from browser and Put enter. Uh, control V. HTTP SAP C Anamasters dot com eight thousand SAP OPU O data um, SAP. Uh, where is the space? No, you should not get it. Hmm? Okay, we'll take the same guys. Control C. Yesterday we got this. Hmm? Okay, this is the one dollar format equal to JSON. Ah, now it's working, guys. Okay, so maybe what is our user ID, guys? SAP user and welcome. 
one two three four the same user id sap user id which you need to take it and and see guys we got an entity set with the product set is an entity set guys okay so we received some response from here right so maybe this is the one kind of thing we can get it service document if you want to get in a service document and we use this url from the browser but service document doesn't help and get meta data of the O data service how can you get the metadata of an O data service so if you want to get the metadata of an O data service so here delete this okay and dollar always we use in a dollar and m e t a d a t a metadata now you execute it see guys this is the metadata of your O data service so we have an a product set which is an entity set and so the product set details will be available over here and the entity c so the entity type and entity set details details it is going to give it so we have the matnr and mtart mbrsh matkl okay and also is this nullable so what is the type of your field and can you nullable nullable means can you put in a space or what is the length of maximum length we have provided 18 what is the length of this and can you create false can you update false can you sortable can you sort this field can you filter this field okay this is uh, this all we call it's in a metadata of your application so what exactly the metadata it provides metadata of the service like key fields and uh, nullable and sortable and filterable and are you can you create the data can you update the data or can you delete the data so this kind of information it is going to provide guys that's an a metadata of your application and you can see the metadata control c and control v this is the url which you need to call from the browser and also guys you are you are seeing you are watching this kind of format right so normally in your browser you will not get this kind of format so if you want to get this kind of format and there is an a plugin you need to add that plugin to your browser which is an a json viewer which is an a plugin guys so type in the google json viewer okay so online json viewer online json formatter okay json viewer google json viewer sorry google chrome google chrome json viewer so see json view google chrome json viewer google chrome you need to find this with the this statement and click on this so here you will get an extension so already it is installed it is asking me do you want to remove but if it is not there it will ask add or extend it to the google chrome guys so always you need to add json viewer to your google chrome okay if you want to test so maybe what i can give uh, add in the google chrome you need to add json viewer first add json viewer to google chrome maybe in your server google chrome does not exist install the google chrome okay and do this for data services okay that is fine i have seen the metadata with required formats so maybe where, where is my format yeah this is my format case but now i would like to read so it is giving everything guys so but if you see here creatable is false okay that means you cannot create the data but we need to have a true guys so you need to put this metadata things 
if you want to put this metadata if you want to enable this metadata things i need to go to the odata service segw and go to the product details expand data model and entity type and select the entity type and select the properties and here you can see guys see what i told entity type provides an a metadata of your application that is the definition so for the definition it provides the metadata of the business entity so in the metadata you see these are all the metadata so creatable updatable sortable filterable these are all the metadata if you want to enable this which provides entity type provides so in the entity type level you need to enable okay this is the field matnr which is an a key field yes can you create an a key field i can create i can create it i can insert the key field okay wait wait okay i can create it i can sort it can you nullable the key field what is key field definition which is an a unique and not null so you should not select null can you filter it yes i can filter it okay mtart i can create it and i can and also guys this is my key field can you update the key field that's why i didn't selected the update you cannot change in a key field value in the database table can you is it editable no it's not possible don't select a key field as an a updatable field it's in a non key field yes i can update it i can sort it i can null it i can filter it i can create it i can update it i can sort it i can null it i can filter it i can do all the things guys this is the metadata entity types and a metadata of your application then now you generate the see you do some changes and generate it i have generated this now you see after you generate again i will trigger the service see the services are up, updated now i go to the here see before it is in a false 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 for false right so this is my dollar metadata and enter and expand this and expand the entity type and you can see those are now it's true that's why it's not giving but if it is in a false it will give the false case but now everything is in uh, only updatable false that's why it's giving in a false information true information it is not giving it case so this is my metadata of my application okay now i would like to read my data for the material data i need to read it how can i read it so if you want to read the data okay so how you can read the data is so how you can perform the crude operations which object we can use for to read the crude operations to perform the crude operations in the it is in a representation of business entity and entity sets are created with entity types and we use entity sets to perform the crude operation crude means we can create it we can read it we can update it we can delete it suppose now i need to read the data which i need to use entity set so i go to here i use an entity set case what is our entity set product product set upper camel case okay don't use the dollar metadata guys product set and enter so it is connecting to the our sap server it gives the data guys product set and it is giving me an error guys see so product set get entity set not implemented in data provider class so this is the error okay but when there is an error guys in o data service how can you trace the errors in o data services so this is my next point how can we trace the errors see guys i didn't get an f complete product maybe the class time ex extends so i would like to see the result today 
so i am extending uh, i am extending the class okay how can we create the errors in how can you trace the errors in word data so the transaction is slash i w f and d sorry slash i w f and d slash error underscore log this is the transaction which we are going to use it so maybe i can use this transaction as in my favorite go to here and favorites and insert transaction slash i w f and d slash error underscore log okay so this is my transaction double click now you can see guys automatically it handles the error log that is one of the advantage of no data service see, method product set and get entity set not implemented in data provider class so whenever we read any data so there is a method product set get entity set which will be called but this method is not yet implemented in the data provider class so we need to implement that method in the data provider class case so go to the data provider class sc24 and gcl underscore gedz8 underscore product underscore uh, details under okay we got something and which is an a are you going to implement in dpc or dpc extension dpc you should not implement you need to go to the dpc extension and change and here the method which method we need to implement it's a get entity set so get entity set guys and double click to implement okay guys be you forgot the object orientation if you want to implement this method this is an abstracted method if you want to implement the abstracted method we need to use an a redefine guys so click on place the cursor redefine the method so always we need to use this option so this is my redefinition and I delete this delete this now guys now i am going to use my technique of debugging techniques okay what exactly whenever you call this what exactly it will come over here and how you can implement this maybe last time we used select okay maybe i will implement this mat nr and mtart and m b r s h and m a t k l and from mara and into table okay here if you see the exporting is et underscore entity set we need to use et underscore entity set we need to fill it guys control space entity set that's it simple what is incoming what is outgoing that's what you need to look it out so my outgoing outgoing is i do not have any incoming i am just providing an outgoing over here that's why i fetch the data all the products from the uh, database and i am filling that all the products in the entity set case so this is the read operation okay this is the read operation which i am doing it now activate your method now your method is implemented product set get entity set so maybe i should not get this error maybe activate your class as well so guys this is an abstracted method whenever the abstracted method is implemented it will get the color from blue to the black guys so that's the maybe my question is hey i have this class there are some blue methods there are some black methods what is the difference between blue and black you need to say so this is the abstracted method this is the abstracted method but which is redefined in this class this method is implemented in this class case okay this is a practical question in the microsoft which they have asked okay so this is the object orientation and now i have implemented maybe so i would like to see debugging is how can i debug this odata service that is also one of the most important and how you can debug the odata services so this is my odata service and which is calling from the external system this is my odata service which is calling from the external system browser this is my odata service which is calling from the external system browser so 
the break point which you need to use here now see guys there is an a session break point there is an external break point since this vodata service is calling from external system we use an external break points which is valid for the two hours case so this is valid for the two hours session break point means i put the break point i log off when i log in again the session break point will be deleted but it is an external break point it is valid for two hours even you can log off log in log off log in this break point will be available until next two hours case that's the difference between session break point and external break point suppose if you want to put if you want to debug vo data services which break point you need to use external break point we need to use it guys so that's the how can you debug the vo data services keep external breakpoint in the method okay whatever the method it is a post or it is an uh, delete or a whatever it may be I, that's why i put post post sorry in the method and it will be available for 2 hours guys that's an external breakpoint in the odata services now you see guys i am going to call again this service from the external system so can we debug so till now you have seen the debugging from the sap itself from sap you executed but i call this service from the browser i enter see it goes to the breakpoint guys see guys it is triggering an a breakpoint now you can see the exactly the method is called and here here you can see i am fetching the data from mara and i store the data in the entity set f5 and 80 entity set c guys 22328 materials which we have in the system so all these 22328 materials will be sent to the external system c guys i go and see those materials over here still it is executing c guys the data comes here but which is not in a good format guys this format i don't like it i need to see this format in a json format so how can you get an edge? so maybe my next get request my next request is new slide read entity set data how can you read the entity set data so this is the link guys the link is first entity set data comes like this so you need to use this statement the, you need to use this url so the url is same but in the final we have in a service after the service we use in a entity set but the format is not good and get data in json format how do you get the data in a json format so if you want to get the data so if you want to apply the parameters case the first parameter i need to use in a question mark and the format of the data there are two formats you know in the any two heterogeneous system if you have if you want to convert the data from one system to another system there is one xml format the another one is the json format suppose if you want to have in xml format which is equal to xml if you want to have the format in json we use an a json format so first question mark and format equal to json guys this is the url url which you need to use to get your data in a json format okay step by step we go and enter now now you see the data will come in a beautiful json format and yes it comes to the debugger again and i will execute the debugger execute yes yes it will come yeah sorry guys it should be an a after question mark for every parameter we need to use an a dollar guys that's a mistake i need to use an a dollar format every parameter i use with that dollar okay question mark dollar format which we need to use it okay control c 
it's not a correct url i am taking out i need to include with the dollar format see guys this is my dollar format why it's coming like this mm. this is not in a good format but there are some products guys see one material is 23 m a t n r 23 uh, material type r o h but i should not get this huh? I should get in a JSON format and maybe I will wait for some time. If the JSON viewer is not added, it's, it's added. Okay. So JSON viewer. Okay. Remove. Remove. Now add to Chrome. I will get this kind of format. See guys, this is the JSON format actually. Okay. Add extension. Okay. Has been add it to chrome enter manage your extensions okay i will refresh i i will enter in a fresh url okay sorry maybe i will take the url again control c control v and enter okay anyway every time it will hits the breakpoint okay execute I executed once it is done uh, what here I should get a JSON format is why it's not getting uh, it is fetching the data but it's not coming in a dollar format which is equal to JSON okay it it will come in this format guys i have shown that json format right why it's not coming so maybe just i will i will take the material data guys first okay we'll see that later okay, i don't want to waste the time so maybe i will go to the se16 n se16 n and uh, mara enter see one of the material weight something still it is working guys it takes some time so one of the material which is in a 23 guys this is my material number so 23 is my material number i will input material number as in a 23 and execute see guys what is the uh, material type mtart roh see what is the material type for these materials? Where is that? Yeah, material type is an ROH. And MBRSH is one, and MBRSH is one. And material group is 107. Ah, yes, case. Now it came. Now you can see the materials. This is a JSON format, guys. Actually, beautiful formats. And also, it's a very lightweight format. You can see here MATNR equal to 23, and MTART equal to ROH. And MBRSH equal to 1 and MATKL equal to 0017. And next material is 38. And the material type is HALB and MBRSH equal to M and MATKL is 117. Like this, we have a lot of data, guys. 22,000 records. So so maybe it is the problem. Okay, whenever there is a lot of records, it's a problem to get the data. So what concept do you use, guys? Suppose if it is in a more data. So this page, I am not able to see all the data, 22,000 records. So when I scroll down, I should get the particular data. What concept it is? Huh? What is that? Pagination concept. Yeah. So that concept we are going to see in the Vodata as well. What exactly the pagination and all that we will see in tomorrow's class. So heavy dose till now and do the Vodata service until today until this what exactly and how you can build the Vodata service how you can generate the services and how you can test the Vodata service and we have tested the Vodata service from the browser and we have activated the SICF services if you don't activate SICF services you cannot see the data in the browser guys so if you want to see the browser the data you should enable the SICF services okay so this is our lab server guys we didn't use any ana server or anything okay we have implemented the vodata we have consumed the vodata 
data by using by browser okay so this is enough for the day and please in practice this guys very very important first class if you don't practice okay so from tomorrow it will be very very difficult we are going to see a lot of request guys like this okay we see a lot of urls we see okay there are different kind of reads we are going to do it so here we are reading all the data but i would like to read only single record i would like to read only specific fields i would like to filter where company code equal to h100 okay like this and dollar skip dollar top pagination concept okay read 10 records when i scroll down then read next 10 records when i scroll down then read see the performance goes down here let's take an example of here so i have 22000 when i go down it is hanging see it is hanging so that is a performance problem we should not give any performance problem first read only see here five records i can read five records when i scroll down it will get more five records when i scroll down it will get more records five records that is the pagination concept how you can build the pagination concept that kind of things we are going to see it so which is an interesting concept guys okay but little internet this is simple http our formula is like this so formula how to build an url is important guys that is our formula first so what is the formula which we have given somewhere i have given yeah first http the host name our host is myecc.hanamasters.com port is 800 and sicf path and first parameter the first parameter actually you need to put a dollar guys dollar parameter value and if you apply one more parameter and also you need to put a dollar parameter value dollar i missed out and the value so this is the url formula guys whenever you see any url you see this kind of formulas guys okay first you will be having http or https and the host name and port sicf path here sap it's an sicf path but different technology will have their different own services the first parameter will be in a first question mark and a dollar parameter here i put in a dollar format equal to json format is the parameter json is the value okay like that we are going to build 